Recently a lot of videos have been deemed as not suitable for all advertisers. As a result, a lot of financially struggling creators might have to quit YouTube or potentially even go bankrupt. So in order to help struggling creators, Alter is a project aimed at analyzing the demonetization bot to create a reliable guideline. I'm going to keep everything very simple for this video, but if you want a more in-depth document, you can find it in the description of this video. All information, data and statistics necessary will be shared, so that any third party can verify the legitimacy of my analysis and conduct their own research. The methodology is also documented. As a short explanation of how the research was conducted, I scrapped a total of 1500 videos. I then separated monetized videos, demonetized videos and excluded all videos without monetization enabled. I then had a program count all videos for a total of 50 keywords, highly suspected of causing demonetization. I then manually analyzed the result in Excel and excluded all anomalies highly suspected of a manual review. Based on analysis I came to the conclusions that will be shared in this video. However, I did not check for provocative terms in titles or tags, as it is already public knowledge that it will lead to demonetization. As I said before, if you want a more detailed explanation of how it was all conducted, you can find all information and data in the description of this video. It must be said that when I'm referring to a video being demonetized, I'm referring to it having limited ads, or as YouTube has labeled it, not suitable for all advertisers. First off, it's essential that you realize that everything you say will be captioned automatically by YouTube. However, the demonetization bot is not a simple keyword check. As an example, if you say weed in your video, it will only get demonetized if the context is related to drugs. So if you say weed them out, you won't get demonetized. A lot of people claim that channels like CNN or The Young Turks are getting unfair treatment regarding monetization. Analyzing the Charlottesville coverage on CNN, TYT, MSNBC and Fox show that all of their Charlottesville coverage had limited ads. So there is no unfair treatment in that aspect, despite multiple people falsely claiming that there is. As a general rule regarding swearing, 3 to 5 swear words is generally accepted. Although I would never recommend anyone going beyond 2 to 3 total, especially regarding fuck. A lot of words like asshole, cunt and retard seem to be banned, although it is possible that retard might be allowed in certain context. Racist keywords are 100% banned, and as a side note, if you're planning to play Wolfenstein 2 once it comes out, you most definitely want to censor out all Nazi references. I've seen a lot of Outlast 2 videos getting demonetized because of excessive swearing, so even if you don't swear, it's still important to go back and remove all profanity in editing. Sexual keywords pretty much 100% banned. Terrorism, supremacism and extremism 100% banned. Drugs 100% banned out of context. As an example, joint referring to a body part is accepted. Mental health and suicide 100% banned. Suicide might be allowed for games but most likely not. Abuse, rape, harassment 100% banned. Weapon, shoot, shot, kill, dead, death and died allowed in context of video games, so be sure to tag the game, tag gameplay, and you should be fine. There is currently no evidence of any sort of demonetization related to religious beliefs. Articles however have stated that certain controversial religious groups might get demonetized in the future. Currently videos about controversial groups such as Scientology and Westboro Baptist Church are not demonetized. Finally, there is a 4 hour limit for auto generated caption. Any video that is longer than 4 hours will thereby get demonetized because YouTube can't verify that the video does not contain profanity. The only exception to that rule is Markiplier. If you're interested in reading more, check the description for a full document, you can also find the data in the description so that you can verify the research and analysis.